all the pieces connect versus, you know, how you can actually write a ton of code. But all I'm going to go through with this is basically some of the concepts and how it works. So this is kind of just, you know, giving you just a, a flavor and a taste of it. Um, and then you can touch you to go through the lab on Friday or later. Um, so this, we had a discussion before, actually a lengthy discussion, um, on compiled versus atomic. So um, why uh, uh, why a compiled over atomic? There's a pre-existing SDK that's being used. There's some advanced authentication scheme. AO does not meet your use case or does not meet the exact criteria you wish. Uh, you want custom events or targets, or you want custom actions. In other words, you want the drop downs, you want arrays, you want something is kind of semi-custom in the UI. You actually want to give a custom experience to your content authors. Um, and you don't mind, you know, building the under under the hood stuff, right? To, to help your content authors be successful. Atomic adapters are easier, right? They're just workloads, there's less coding, they're faster to deploy, but they have a little less, you know, overall capability. Right? So you you, you have a you don't have a lot of the extra things, but you know, with extra things comes extra stuff too. So if you remember the architecture, and you know, we talked about this, this kind of goes with the thread model, right? So all adapters are running many web servers as the web model, right? We talked about this. So what I did with this with this screenshot is it was like basically took all the that of the uh, services and I kind of split things out to kind of show you the flow of an activity. So if an activity is running, and I'm just going to use that HTTP request for an example. So when you are running your your calls today, right, an HTTP request hit, then it goes to the orchestration service. And the orchestration service looks and says, oh, I know that you know, that is a type web service HTTP request call. I, that there's a type that I have I listed in my database. It says, I need to send this request over to the web service today. And so the schema is read from the database, to go to pair with that, and then that data is fired over to the website, the script the website, so that is fired over to your adapter, whatever adapter, and that adapter takes that input, says, oh, I need to make a HTTP request, oh, I need to do a select from SQL database, oh, I need to do whatever the activity is. It finds that code, runs that code with the input, right, it gets that input. Then it gets the formats, the output received, and it sends that output back to your orchestration service, right? And then your turn to work. And then the work continues. Um, so, in doing this, we have to come up with this schema, right? Schema is how you teach or how you show AO to understand the inputs of your code. Your adapter. It's all going to be JSON, JSON in, JSON out. Um, but, you know, you have to get, let it to know. What does your target look like? What are your inputs look like? What are your outputs? You have to let it know all those pieces so that you can use those pieces to communicate with the orchestration service. You have two schemas. You have a view schema and a data schema. Data is what AO cares about and is what is actually what is used for at one time. View is what you a human care about or be done. Oh, right, so when you drag and drop the blocks into AOS XO, and you see the input fields on that right side of that property panel, that's the view schema. When you actually run the workflow and it does something, that's going to be even more of the data. These are just big basic blocks, and I can have plenty of examples to show. Uh, but I don't want to, that's jumping in before too deep too bad. I'll share some of this Just again, another look at the flow. So, as I mentioned, when you know, I'm running a workflow, it goes the work engine, pulls that information, and it goes into the adapter portal. So, this is the adapter. This big box over here is my running adapter, my pod, uh, either on my remote of the future or is, you know, if it's your pod, your current pod, like your AO pod, not like that. AO pod, this is just a thing, uh, this is just something running in there. It runs a web server out of workers, activities, worker.py, so it runs just a built-in web 